Matty Turner and Simon Goodchild. Here he comes down, down to straight for the first time across the start finish line. Seven laps to run as John Giotto holds down second place from Philip Ryan for the moment. But look at the drafting and the slipstreaming. Jeff Proctor as well on the number 12 Suzuki heading up the inside going into the first corner. Jeff Winter starting to show his face too there. Another hard man of uh, 250 production racing. Been around for a long time. Jeff and I used to have the odd tussle in the early days and uh, he certainly hasn't slowed down any. Jerome though hanging off the side of the bike through the kink down towards the first of the hairpins with Chiodo, then Ryan and Proctor. That is the first four. Jeff wins attacking on, as you say, in fifth place. So the Dunlop Alpine Stars AGV boys are currently second and fifth. Chiodo going around the outside of Ryan there, but he's still catching the man in front is Sean Geronimi. And Philip Ryan is right on the back of Sean Geronimi right now. That second bunch just uh, threw it at that what's now called Qantas hairpin after that fast, flat-out kink. And uh, they reeled back in Sean Geronimi. So it's Philip Ryan now right on the hammer of Sean Geronimi. So uh, they've made that gap back up to him, and this is going to be a dead-set dogfight. They took a heap of lead there, or took a heap of space out of his lead. He's got a little bit more now as they come across the top of Lukey Heights and then down the hill, which is quite a significant drop towards MG Corner. But it's still Sean Geronimi, the 18-year-old, out in front. He's certainly doing the job, but they're close enough this time to pick up his draft down the front straight and possibly he's still pulled out a bit it's like, it's like he can get away pretty easily but he hasn't gone far and and Ryan will pick up his draft and he should be closer to him in the first into the first turn at the end of the long front straight and uh, probably have a little bit of a go at him under brakes so Geronimi leads him across the line for the second time with Ryan Chiodo coming out of the slipstream with Jeff Proctor there as well Chiodo sits up and lets Ryan hold on to second place through turn one down towards Southern Loop. Back through the gears into the left-hander. Proctor around the outside of Giotto into third place. So a change. Back in the pack behind Sean Geronimi. Jeff Windsor on the number 23 machine is right there. But there is the leaderboard after two laps. 0.4 of a second was Geronimi's lead across the start-finish line. Then it's Ryan. Proctor is now in front of Giotto with Windsor still in Ryan place. up the inside of uh, Sean Geronimi. He, he just threw it at the hairpin there and uh, got into the lead. So it's Philip, in, Philip Ryan in the lead from Sean Geron Geronimi. And that is the place where they're able to make up a heap of ground on the inexperienced Geronimi who finished third in his very first season of ARRC racing, the road racing championship for the 250 Ponies. Look at him go though, up the back of the circuit. This is where he is very good, where he was able to take a lead up towards Lukey Heights. Try to head around the outside of Ryan. He can't do it this time though, but he might have a go at him under brakes, heading down into the hairpin at MG Corner. He, he stayed out wide on the entry down to this hairpin and uh, let Philip Ryan go, but I'm sure that uh, Geronimi will be close enough to draft him down the front straight and uh, slip it up the inside under brakes. So it's Ryan around the top of the circuit heading up to turn 12 for the third time. Geronimi right on his back tyre here already looking for a way past with Proctor and then Chiodo back in fourth place. Ryan cuts back to the inside of the circuit up against the wall in Gardner Strait. Here comes Geronimi though. Will he have the line? Look out for the seagulls. They're all over the place and Ryan nearly collects one but he hangs onto the lead. That was a lucky seagull to get between those two bikes at that speed. The fourth lap of eight so far. Down they come through Southern Loop. Again, it's Geronimi right with Ryan. We'll see here if Geronimi can hang on to the back of Philip Ryan because he has been very good down towards the hairpin, as have Jeff Proctor and John Chiodo. They've dropped Jeff Windsor at the moment. It's a four-man group at the front with plenty of others back there in that second bunch. Ryan hangs onto the lead. Proctor looking for a way past Geronimi. He can't find it, though, for the moment. Chiodo was right there on the back of Jeff Proctor. Geronimi pulled out of the draft of Philip Ryan a bit early on the front straight that time and uh, lost the effect of the draft, so he couldn't end up getting by him by the first turn. Um, we'll see if he learns anything in these next couple of laps because he should be able to pull out of the draft and get by him by the chequered flag. 
through the kink, right, then left. Up Lukey Heights again, Geronimi in a wider line, right there around the outside of Ryan. What a move by the 18-year-old. Absolute disrespect for the man in front of him, and he leads it into MG Corner. That was a brave move around the outside there, but uh, Ryan should be close enough, again, to exercise that draft and take advantage of it. But um, Geronimi is so fast around through these left-handers opening up onto the front straight that he'll put a bit of space on uh, Philip Ryan. And I'll have to try and catch him down through the kink and towards the hairpin. Ryan is good under braking, but what about Geronimi around the outside, if you don't mind, up towards Lukey Heights. What a manoeuvre. Well, it's a long, long way around there, and the track's a little more slightly off camera, and uh, I'll tell you what, it's a big move to get away with that. Plenty of bravery shown there by this 18-year-old youngster as Ryan now tacks onto the back of him into turn one with the help of the slipstream. And that second bunch has got onto the back of John Chioda, who now sticks it up the inside of Jeff Proctor and moves back into third place. It's not John Chioda. In fact, coming through was Clayton Chapman. He wants a ride in the Australian Superbike Series next year. The former motocross champion, nine state titles he won before he moved to road racing. And he's up into third placing. Well, he's certainly been on the move because he wasn't anywhere in the front bunch uh, earlier on in the race, so the lap times Clayton Chapman's putting in right now will be fast enough for him to move up to the front in the next couple of laps, I'd say. Geronimi tips it in. He held onto the lead this time into the hamp in the first of them. There's Chapman. He has come from well back in the field, seventh or eighth after the last lap, after the first lap rather, and he is right there now and look for him to make a move on Ryan as they come up towards Lukey Heights yet again. I just noticed uh, Clayton Chapman's got that Scott Russell fin on the top of his helmet, if you can notice that little white fin sticking up. And he's looking to put the bite on Shark Style as well. Philip Ryan, he's up along the outside of him as they come down to the hairpin at MG Corner. He jumps on the brakes now, though, and lets Ryan hang on to second place for the time being. More seagulls on the track. They're daring this morning here. I hope they get off the track before Mick Doohan hits it. There could be feathers everywhere. <laughs> Watch Clayton Chapman on his run down the front straight here because he'll have the bigger draft off the two bikes so he should get that much extra pull that um, he should be able to spring, spring into the lead yeah up the side of Ryan and here comes the great white shark Clayton Chapman under the bridge right up alongside Philip Ryan Geronimi though leads them into turn one yet again Chapman though is he through into second place trying to get past Philip Ryan he can't do it for the moment he drew alongside him didn't have the speed now he does though into Southern Loop to move through through into second place. He had the better line, and Chapman is on the move again. Up through the field, now it's Geronimi he's after. Ryan certain wasn't going to give that away easily. Hung on the outside there for a long time, but uh, around the outside there is just too far. But um, Clayton Chapman's going to try and have a go at Geronimi. And this is where Philip Ryan is good, though, under brakes. Geronimi holding the lead. Chapman is wide, and Ryan goes through up the inside. So once again, it's Geronimi, Ryan, Chapman has a look over the shoulder and there is a bunch of riders right behind him, including John Chiodo and Jeff Proctor, who have been dropped for the time being. The pace is so furious, they can't keep up with the leaders. Three men at the front, but led by this 18-year-old sensation, Sean Geronimi, third in the ARRC Championship in his first go at it. Oh, and then Ryan almost carted Chapman off the track, going up the hill towards Lukey Heights. Chapman had to sit up as Ryan came wide. That was a heart-stopping moment for Clayton Chapman. Certainly was. He, uh, he got shunted there, but he recovered well. He's hardly lost any time, and he's right on Ryan's back wheel again, so uh, I'm certain he'll give it to him down the front straight. Oh, won't he? What in spades, hard diamonds and clubs as Geronimi comes around turn 12 as they come down the line now. There'll be two laps left to run as they come across the start-finish line. Geronimi leads them with Ryan taking on looking for the slipstream. Chapman gives the pit crew members the thumbs up as he gets the board over pit lane wall but it's still Ryan up alongside Geronimi now in front. Ryan on the blue Suzuki RGV250 hits the lead again. It looks like Geronimi's gone a lot slower. Oh, he's got around the outside. He got the inside running out of turn one. And Chapman through into the lead at Southern Loop. He got the big draft coming into the second turn. And he hits the lead for the first time. Jeff Proctor is right back with him, as is Craig McMartin. Oh, any one of five or six could still win this. Geronimi's having to go back up the inside through the kink there on Clayton Chapman. So uh, under breaks down into the hairpins, just going to be a mixed bunch. Chapman, Philip Ryan sideways up the inside. 
Chapman though hangs on through the first hairpin, up towards the kink, turn five. Then they turn left, that's Siberia. Chapman very wide, out doing a bit of dirt tracking like the old days. Just getting back to his uh, grassroots, I might say, Warren. His dirt roots, if you like, even. Under the luck, he strikes Suzuki Bridge. Up through the kink, left they go. Right, up through the gears, then it's Lukey Heights. Plenty of bravery needed here, and we've seen it already from the likes of Phil Ryan and Jeff Proctor. Now, Chapman, he is leading them. Up Lukey Heights again. This is the second last lap. He'll hold the lead. Brian having a good look under brakes. He darts through. Can he hold the line? Chapman looking for the drive up the inside. Oh, they touch. Chapman had to get off the throttle for a second there. They did touch and there was paintwork swapped. No doubt about that, but um, Clayton Chapman's going to come back at Ryan down the front straight for sure. He uh, could probably give him an elbow on the way past too, I'd reckon. They come down onto Gardner straight to get the last lap board. Look at them diving everywhere. Chapman now turns back to the outside of the track looking for a way past Philip Ryan and Geronimi is right there with them. Here comes Chapman now and Geronimi slingshotting. He can't do it this time. Chapman, he is back into the lead. But look, oh, oh he closes out. He tucked the front end in. He slides out. A big fall. He lost the front end there. Still on the, went in real deep up the inside of Ryan and, and hung onto the front brake a little bit too long. You could see the blue smoke come off the front tyre and uh, lost the front end and crashed out of the lead. Disaster for Clayton Chapman leading the race on the last lap and crashes out through turn one. That hands the lead back to Philip Ryan. Sean Geronimi is right there with him. So is Craig McMartin and Jeff Proctor. Ryan holds the lead. Geronimi was wide and here's McMartin, the view, out the front of his windscreen. Up to Siberia for the last time. Great save, he had both feet on the ground. Oh, he had it all sorts of shapes. A huge lose, he hung onto it eventually, but it's cost him any chance in the race. And now Geronimi, courtesy of the spill almost from Philip Ryan, is through to the lead. He has just three more corners after this to hang on to win this race. Philip Ryan, big, oh, and Geronimi getting out of shape a little, coming over Lukey Heights down into the second hairpin. Oh, Ryan got the power on too early. It's cost him any chance of winning. He's still there in fifth, though. Geronimi leads them around the second last corner. It's Craig McMartin in second place. It's a battle in two. Geronimi might have a big enough lead here to hang on and win this second race in the 250cc production class on this Grand Prix weekend at Phillip Island. He's away, the 18-year-old youngster with a Troy Corsa helmet on. He'll win it. He gets the check and flag. Coming through for second was Jeff Proctor with Craig McMartin in third place. What an amazing race, as we promised you, and they have delivered. The 250cc Proddy boys have turned it on once again at Phillip Island. There's no doubt about that, Warren, and that's where uh, the future stars tend to come from, the 250 production class, um, as did Mick Doohan. That was one of his first road race bikes, the 250 production. Here's Clayton Chapman. Keep your eyes on the bottom of the front wheel. He's got it in really tight, really fast, and you'll see him lock the front brake, a bit of black smoke. Lose the front end right there, black smoke off the front wheel, down, and definitely out of this race. Oh, and that is a fast part of the circuit as well. Look at the dust and grass that gets thrown up as he storms across the infield there towards the gully, which has been dug between turn one and the end of Southern Loop. And here is Philip Ryan coming into Siberia. He got through the corner OK, but then got the power on too early and almost lost it in a huge fashion. Look at that. Look he at the tyre mark oh. left by him. Did well to hang on to it and finish in fifth place, as it turned out, but that was a heart-stopping moment. That was a great save. Uh, definitely an unfortunately lose, but a great save. So Sean Geronimi in first place, and it's Jeff Proctor. Craig McMartin was third, John Chiodo fourth, Philip Ryan was fifth, but what a fantastic race in the 250cc production class here at Phillip Island. He took the win, but it wasn't before Daniel Stauffer had his foot peg, gear shift lever 